Hello and welcome to another video on angles in polygons. Now in the previous video we looked at coming up with a formula to calculate the sum of interior angles in polygons. So in this video we're going to put that into practice and we're going to attempt to go through all of these questions here and calculate the missing angles. Now before we go through all of these questions let's just have a quick recap of that formula that we came up with. So what we do is we take the number of sides, so the number of sides of the polygon, then we take away two, and then we multiply all of that by 180, and that will give us the sum of the interior angles of that polygon. Now, if you're a bit unsure of where this formula comes from, or it's completely new to you, I encourage you to go back and watch my previous video on this topic. So let's get on with the task now. So what we have to do is we have to work out the missing angle in each of these polygons. Now the answers are already given to us down here, but they have been jumbled up. So as you go through each question, find your answer in the grid. If, you've, if your answer is in the grid, you've probably got it correct. And then just tick it off and move on to the next one. Okay, I'm assuming you've paused the video now. So let's go through this together. So the first one is a quadrilateral. Now, I already know that angles in a quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees, but if you didn't know that, we can apply this formula. So a quadrilateral, we've got four sides. So we do four minus two, and then times 180 degrees. Well, four minus two is two, two times 180 is 360. So the angles in this quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. We've been given three of the angles, so all we need to do is sum these three and then take it away from 360 degrees. Now I'm just going to cheat and use a calculator for this. So these three angles sum to 202 degrees, so we're going to do 360 minus 202, and that gives me 158 degrees. So that is my answer, and I can see that is the first answer on the list. So let's just give that a, uh, let's just circle that. OK, moving on to question B. So let's just count the number of angles we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a hexagon. So to calculate the sum of the interior angles, we're just going to use our formula again. So six minus two times 180. So that's four times 180, which is 720 degrees. Now we've got five of the, uh, these angles. So we know this one here, this is 90 degrees. It's just not written in. So we've got five of the angles. So let's add up all of these first. So they sum to 546 degrees. So we're going to do 720 minus 546. And again, I'm going to use my calculator for this. And that gives me 174 degrees. Let's check our list. Yes, we have got that. So that's this answer here. Question C. So for this one, we're told that this shape is regular. So we know that all of these angles are the same size. So first of all, how many angles have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a decagon. So let's uh, use our formula again. So we're going to do 10 minus 2 times 180. And you might be wondering, well, I counted the angles. It says the number of sides. Well, the number of angles is the same as the number of sides, so it doesn't matter which one I use. So this is going to be 8 times 180, 8 times 180, and that's 1,440 degrees. So these 10 angles sum to 1,440 degrees. We don't know what any of them are. We're not told any of them explicitly, but we do know that they're all the same size because this is a regular decagon. So because they're all the same, we can just divide this by the number of angles. So we can just do 1,440 divided by 10, and that gives us 144 degrees. So that is my answer. So 144 degrees is right down here. Okay, question D. Now this one looks a bit more complicated, but if we just follow the same pattern, so first of all, let's calculate how many sides it's got. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is a heptagon. So to calculate the sum of the interior angles, well, we're just going to do 7 minus 2 times 180. So that's 5 times 180, which is 900. So we know that the interior angles sum to 900 degrees. So we've got 75, 99, 80. Now this one here, 
we're not explicitly told what it is, I can see that this is a right angle, which is 90 degrees. So the interior angle, let's do that in a different color. The interior angle, this angle here, that's the one we're interested in. We're not interested in the exterior angle. It's the one inside the shape. Well, that's going to be 270 degrees. Because I know the angles around a point sum to 360 degrees. So that's 270. We've got 40, 45. And the last one to calculate is this one here. But just be careful because what it's asking us for is this angle. OK, so when we do calculate what this is, well, then that's not going to be our final answer. We're then going to have to um, do, do some maths to calculate this angle. So first of all, let's sum the angles we've got. And I get 609 degrees. So we're going to do 900 minus 609. And that gives me 291 degrees. So 291 is this angle. So my final calculation to work out this angle here, I'm going to take 291 away from 360. I'm going to do 360 minus 291. And that gives me 69 degrees. So 69 degrees is my final answer. And I can see that we've got that one over here. So that one is correct. Question E. Now we've got another regular shape here. So this is a regular hexagon. It's got six sides. So let's work out the sum of the interior angles first. So it's going to be 6 minus 2 times 180. Well, that's 4 times 180, which is 720 degrees. And just like the pre one of the previous questions, these are all the same size because it's a regular hexagon. So we just need to divide this by the number of sides. So we're going to do 720 divided by 6. And that gives us 120 degrees. So the one we're after is one of the interior angles. So that is my final answer, 120 degrees which is over here. Question F. Now these dashes on this shape mean that these two side lengths are equal and these two side lengths are equal. So what we have here is a kite. So one of the properties of a kite is that opposite angles, so well not all opposite angles, we can see that these are not equal, but these two angles, so this angle here and this angle are equal. So we can use that. So because we've got a quadrilateral, we know that these four angles sum to 360 degrees. I can see that these two sum to 170 degrees. So to work out what's left, we can just take 170 degrees away from 360. So 360 minus 170, and that gives us 190 degrees. And because these two angles are the same, we can just divide this by two. So that'd be 190 divided by two, and that gives us 95 degrees. So that is my answer. My final answer is 95 degrees, which is right down here. Question G, we've got one, two, three, four, five sides. So this is a pentagon. So the sum of the interior angles, it's going to be five minus two times 180. So that's three times 180, which is 540 degrees. So the interior angle sum to 540. We've got 95, this one's 90, 70, 52. Uh, so the one we're missing is this one here. So if we, uh, if we sum these four angles together first, that gives us 307 degrees. So we can do 540 minus 307. And then that gives us 133, no, not 133. 233 degrees is that right 233 yep 233 degrees but remember that's not our final answer because we need to calculate the question mark so we need to take this away from 360 so 360 minus 233 and that gives us 127 so that is my final answer and i think i've got it correct because i can see it down here Question H, we've got another regular hexagon. So the sum of the interior angles is going to be 6 minus 2 multiplied by 180. And I think I've already done this before, but I'm just doing it again. So that is 720 degrees. So each of these angles, or they, they sum to 720 degrees in total. 
But uh, because this is a regular hexagon, we know that they are all the same. Each angle is the same. So to work out what each one is, we can just divide this by 6. So if we do 720 divided by 6, that gives us 120 degrees. So all of these angles here are 700, or 120 degrees. Now we need to work out what this angle is here. Now to work that out, we can use this angle. So we know that that one is 120. So that is 120 degrees. And you can also see that these two side lengths are equal. So what we have here is an isosceles triangle. Now with an isosceles triangle, these base angles, so this angle here and this angle are the same. Okay, because base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So now we've gone from a hexagon to an isosceles triangle. So if we do exactly the same thing with a, with a triangle, what do angles in a triangle sum to? Well, I could use this formula, but I know that angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. So I can take 120 away from 180. So I can do 180 minus 120, and that gives me 60 degrees. So these two angles in red must sum to 60 degrees. And because they're the same, we can just divide this by 2. So we can do 60 divided by 2, and that gives us 30 degrees. So these are both 30 degrees, so we're only interested in one of them. So 30 degrees is my answer, and that is over here. Okay, on to question I. We've got a trapezium here, and we these two side lengths are equal. So because those two side lengths are equal, this angle here must be equal to this angle. So that is 79 degrees, and these two angles must also be the same. So because we know that all four angles sum to 360 degrees, because it's a quadrilateral, first of all, if we sum these together, so 79 plus 79, well, that gives us 158 degrees. And we know that they all sum to 360. So now if we take 158 away from 360, so 360 minus 158, that gives us 202, 202 degrees. And uh, because these two angles are equal, we can just divide this by 2. So 202 divided by 2, and we are left with 101 degrees. So that is my answer, 101 degrees. And we're on to the last one. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the answer is 72 degrees. Let's have a look. So on to the last question. Question J, we've got a regular pentagon. So a pentagon has five sides. So we, we're going to do 5 minus 2 times 180 and that gives us 540 degrees so these sum to 540 and because the shape is regular we can just divide by 5 so 540 divided by 5 I think I can do that in my head that's 108 degrees so these each of these angles is 108 now if we look at our diagram we can see that this angle well that's 108 degrees this angle here, that's another one of our interior angles, that's 108 degrees. But this angle, be careful, this is not 108. This whole thing is 108, but this angle, we don't know what that angle is. But what we do know is that it's exactly the same as this angle, because this is a trapezium that is a regular, well, these two, these two side lengths are the same. So these base angles of our trapezium must also be the same. So first of all, if we sum these two angles together, 108 plus 108, well, that's 216. And we know that angles in a trapezium sum to 360. So if we can just do 360 minus 216, that gives us 144. So these two angles sum to 144. And because they're the same, we can just divide this by 2. So 144 divided by 2, and we are left with 72 degrees. And hey presto, that is what we've got down here. So we are correct. So how many did you get correct out of 10? If you got 10 out of 10, give yourself a big pat on the back. If you didn't, give yourself a pat on the back anyway, because you've managed to get to the end of this video with me rabbiting on. So well done for doing that anyway. So thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.